News. We showed you footage there, that early footage of uh, Ian Allen's attorney, Umlala, speaking with police officers. They are on the CCM compound at present. They are here to arrest Ian Allen. We have Ian Allen live with us as well as his attorney, Umlala, on the set. Good evening, Ian. Good evening, yeah, Mr. Lala. Well, we got notification today that the police had an interest in Ian. We later found out that they were here to arrest him. I spoke under a senior superintendent who is in charge of the party of police officers who has indicated that their intention is to arrest Ian in connection with a broadcast that had been aired several months ago. And it is in this connection that they uh, intend to arrest him as soon as we finished in the studio and uh, take him to CID for the purposes of questioning. It, it is likely, from what we understand, that he may be charged later tonight for an offense that they have not given particulars on yet. Uh, and uh, we are anxious to find out. Ian will be accompanying me and we will cooperate with the police. We will go with the police to wherever they want him to go for the purposes of the inquiry and we will see if he is charged and what the nature of these charges are. Now I believe if this is in connection when the police raided TCN compound for I believe a tape yes, of correct. the Crime Watch program. Now did you expect any of this to take place? Well I thought it was quite clear when that was broadcast and the way it was done even TV6 attorneys had communicated to the police demonstrated their intention to cooperate. I think months after an incident, especially an incident that involves more broadcast than anything else, it would have been managed in a different way. The fact that there are three or four carloads of police officers downstairs meeting to arrest, and in spite of our request that we would meet them at the police station, they've refused the instructions that he is to be arrested. We will cooperate, but again, it, it does seem to be an abusive process, but we will cooperate, as TV6 has done throughout. We will cooperate now, as we've done in the past, and we'll continue to do so, and we will see what comes out of this investigation tonight. Ian, do you have anything to say with regard to the situation? That I guess is quite I'm surprising. I'm concerned about the development, however. This will not deter me. I mean, there are a lot of people who are gunning for me, as they say, who would like to embarrass me public. But never, there's one word that you should always remember, the word called tomorrow. There is a tomorrow out. It will never stop me as long as, as, long as I have breath. I fight. This is just the price I must pay. But I will fight. It won't stop me. It will never, this will never stop me. So let them try their best. You won't be better. At, well, if I won't be better, believe me. And Mr. Lala, how much more cooperation can be? Well, we'll co cooperate as much as we see necessary cooperation in terms of being available. In terms of uh, how it proceeds, the cooperation will enter the legal realm of how we cooperate in, in that sense. But e essentially, the information is, it is quite likely, may be charged. We, we have not been given very much information. I've spoken to the police and we anxiously uh, await to see what comes out of it. Like I say, we will cooperate. We are going to go with the police after and as the night develops, we'll see if in fact he is charged tonight. Okay, well you keep us abreast. Ian, are you leaving the compound now? Well, shortly, 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 shortly. Okay. Shortly. Thank you very much, I Ian Allen and his attorney, Om Lala. As uh, we keep abreast of the situation that's happening right now with the CCM compound, where there are a, no a number of police on the compound waiting to arrest Ian Allen. We'll be right back. Stay with the TV6 News.